What's up guys, Rick Denemir, Holy Moly Outdoors. I'm so excited to join you in this episode because we're diving back into another DIY. Uh, we just finished up a great one for making your own stringers. So that one's in the link description below. But I wanted to add to that. For you bank fishermen with Washington State opening up, everybody in this great weather now is getting out and about. Trout fishing is great. And we're going to have soon some other opportunities in the river. So I wanted to do something that will help you guys as bank fishermen to secure those DIY stringers you have. So, so stay tuned. We're going to show you how to do that real quick. So fish on! Alright guys, so this is probably going to be just a super quick video because there's not a lot to it but the simplicity of this really makes this DIY I think so special because I came across this online partially so I can't take all this credit I just wanted to add to the, the thought that the person had so there's a Facebook group I think it's called all things DIY it's based off of fishing and stuff and his YouTube channel which I can link him below awesome stuff there so I came across it where somebody took a tent stake, this is really all this is, and was able to clip a metal stringer piece to it, and I thought that was genius, because us trout fishing out there, or anywhere across the country, trout fishing, you get your limit of fish, it's always a pain to find a way to keep those fish on a stringer in the water. So when I saw this, I wanted to put my own spin to it. So when I created this video, and I'll link it below for this DIY, or you can see the card up here. Super easy, carabiner um, style with a end tied where you can put on another carabiner clip. So what I ended up wanting to do is, how can I utilize this? Because we're you know, like doing DIY stuff. How do you utilize something we already have and make it better? So normally I would clip this to either myself or I would clip it to a backpack, a tree limb, something to secure this to. But that isn't always an option. So how do you go about it making sure your good catch stays in the water and stays good? So what I ended up seeing is that... These stakes, okay, and this is what it is. It's a tent stake from Walmart for a dollar. They have, as you can see there, that really nice big hole. That hole allows you to either tie your stringer directly to it if you wanted, but I think it even provides a better opportunity for a small carabiner clip. So I can put this carabiner clip on here, then I can tie my stringer directly to that carabiner clip or I could put another clip to that one. So this is always now going to be in my backpack whether I'm salmon fishing and steelhead on the bank in the river or if I'm going to shore fish for trout. So a great way if you don't know what size that hole is, I've already gone through it and uh, that essentially is a two inch carabiner hole um, that'll give you enough movement that that can go around and I did some looking around now Walmart does sell those small ones but you kind of have to play around with it and it can be a pain same with Fred Meyer or whatever what I ended up doing to save a lot of hassle and I can use it for everything go to Harbor Freight pick up one of these little carabiner clips now you have sizes that work for other DIY projects like the stringer that we made you can tie one of these bigger ones to it but the small silver and blue in here work perfect for that tent stake so I would recommend that I'll put the link description below that one's from Harbor Freight it's like $3.99 plus a 20% off coupon even better now this is the piece that I saw on the DIY page for Facebook so I wanted to give a shout out to that person and if I can find their name I'll put it in here but they took one of these metal stringers right 
This is a dollar ninety or whatever it is at Walmart, and everyone pretty much has one of these in their tackle box. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what you get. Right? These are all currently clipped to each other. So we'll undo that. And it's just a simple. So you have all of your clips to be used for the fish that you catch helps them stay alive because you can put them in the water and they work so I've <laughs> I've used these since I was a kid and you know everybody has one or so version of that so they typically have what is that one two three four five six seven eight so about eight clips and this one at the top. Well, so it's perfect for the person that wants to just buy a dollar steak and a dollar ninety seven stringer. You can clip it right through the hole there, snap it shut, go to the bank, catch a fish, drive this into the ground, and those fish are staying in the water. It is perfect. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better to secure it. You don't have to worry about finding some stick to tie to. I just think ultimately at the end of the day, this is beautiful. You can use a rock to slowly push that down or step on it. It really makes it easy. Now, like I said, I use this carabiner clip because you can see how it rotates around. It makes it really nice so I can secure something a little stronger. I don't necessarily want to run this stringer with a big steelhead or salmon. It's going to bend those things out. So I don't want to risk a 10 pound fish on something that tiny. Now however, I would absolutely put a 10 pound fish on this, tie it up to my carabiner here, or even tie another carabiner to this and clip them in and drive this sucker into the ground and secure it. Now, it just makes for a lot easier aspect for the bank fisherman. So a dollar stake can really help you guys get better quality fish when you bring them home to the missus or just for yourself to eat for dinner. So thanks so much for tuning into this guys. We're trying to do a little bit more of this DIY stuff. I'm getting back out on the water so you're going to see a lot more fishing videos. But give us a thumbs up. And if you have any ideas you want to see or ideas of DIY yourself in regards to something like this, share it below. I would love to see that. Um, so thank you so much for all the support you guys do. Um, that's really what helps gets us going and continues to help this channel out. So thumbs up, comment below, and we'll catch you on the water real soon. Take care, guys. And as always, fish on!